Hello, dear friends. This is Yule Humphreys. I'm glad to be with you to speak to you today about a subject I think that's important for us all, and that is the fact that we live by faith and not by sight. And we find these scriptures in the Bible. We go by the Bible. We try to preach the Word of God because we believe it is the Word of truth. <clears throat> and when we preach the Word, then we're preaching what God told us to preach. Jesus said, Go and preach my Word. And Lord God, I thank you that the hand of the Lord will help us. Now in the Bible, in Hebrews 11th chapter, in verse 8, it says, By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place where he, didn't, where he should receive for an inheritance, obeyed God. And he went out, not knowing where he went. Now we are to live by faith and not by sight. Abraham teaches us how to live like that. He went out, obeying God. God spoke to him and said, Abraham, go out. And he showed, told him the direction to go, but he didn't tell him where to go exactly. He just said, go forth, and I will show you as you go, day by day, where I'm leading you. And Abraham went out, not knowing where he went. So it's very important for us to see and claim the promises of God. When God tells us something, we need to obey. There is a very important part in obedience because obedience teaches us that it's something that pleases God when we obey the Lord. And I want you to obey Him because He loves you and He cares for you. But when you obey the Word of God, you're obeying truth. And you're finding the will of God in the way of the Lord. And you'll be able to go through every time of trial and trouble and be able to make the right decisions on everything you're facing when you go by the Word of God. The Bible said Jesus taught us that we're to, to uh, for deny ourselves, take up our cross, whatever it is that's displeasing, and follow Jesus. Deny yourself. Don't depend on yourself. Depend on God and let Him be your strength. He cares for you. He loves you. He wants to direct your path and lie your way, and you will find the answer when you look to God. The Bible says in Romans, the sixth chapter, Jesus said, Father, forgive them. Father taught us how to pray like this. Father, forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Now learn to obey that. Somebody's hurt you, forgive them. Somebody's mistreated you, forgive them. Why? Because the Bible says forgive, 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 because you've been forgiven. That's the reason. And so we need to forgive others and we know we've been forgiven. And the Bible says if you obey, going out and obeying the Lord, the Lord said, read your Bible. Read your Bible every day. In Matthew, the fourth chapter, Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread only, but by every word of God. This is the way we live, by the word of God. Read it, understand it, and let the Lord lead you and guide your way, and God will bless you. So it's important that we believe this. In, uh, in the uh, 14th chapter of John, verse 23, Jesus said that if a man loves me, he will keep my commandments, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him, and we'll make our abode with him. So you see, if you love, if you do the word of God, and, if you, and Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my word. And then if you do that, the Father will love you, and they will come. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the triune God will come and live in your heart and bless your life. And God will be real to you. And so these are the things we need to do when we obey the Lord. Obey the Lord. Obey the Lord and believe. Uh, Abraham believed God and he went out. And you must believe God. Uh, there in the book of uh, John again, in the 20th chapter of John, they asked him, and they said to him, Lord, what works must we do to be saved? The word works is plural. What works must we do? These were the priests asking Jesus, How can I be saved, forgiven of my sins? How can I reach heaven? How can I be saved from a devil's hell? Oh, praise God, how can we be saved? And Jesus said, This is the work that you believe on him whom God has sent. You see, they said, What works must we do? Plural. What are all things we must do to get right? Jesus said there's just one thing, work, not plural. This is the work. 
that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You believe on Him whom God has sent into the world. Believe on Jesus Christ, my dear friend, and you will live forever. Your sins are forgiven. Your name is written in heaven. You're born again and you belong to God. This is important that we learn to live by faith and not by sight. We learn to live by faith. What is faith? Faith over in the book of Hebrews 11, chapter verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it's evidence of things not yet seen. So you see, you don't always see it. Well, Abraham went out not knowing where he was going, that's faith. He didn't see it and didn't say, oh, I'll see it now. I see the horizon. I see this, the skyline of that great city. Now I know where I'm going. No, no. He didn't see anything out there. He just went out knowing that God said, go, and I'll guide you and direct you day by day. He wants you, dear friend, to go out face each day, not knowing what that it may hold for you, but believing God's going to bless you in it. And when you do that, he'll bless you, and he'll guide you, and he'll keep you close to him. We need to know that Jesus Christ will bless you and help you to find that answer, help you to find the way, because you will overcome. The Bible says, "For this uh, is the way that uh, we overcome the world, even our faith. We overcome the world by our faith. This is the way you acquire that which God gives you, is by faith. This is the way you become strong, Christians, by faith. This is the way you win your battle, Christians, by faith. And this is the way you forgive people and love the unlovely, by faith. This is the way you win souls to Jesus, by faith. I believe that this message is going out, touching lives and hearts. And I believe that it's going to bring glory to God. And I believe that it's going to save souls and it's going to strengthen God's people. I believe. And the Bible says if we believe, we overcome the world even by our faith. Over in the book of John, the fifth chapter again, Jesus said that this is the work of God that we believe. Finally, in the second book of 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, the Bible says, we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. And so we live looking at things that we cannot see with our natural eye. We see things the world can't see because we see them by faith. Here's a man that's sick, but he's praying for health. He sees himself healthy and well. He sees himself healthy and well. He's still on the sick bed, but he's going to get up soon because he's living by faith. And he's living by that which he hoped for and evidence he has in his heart yet not seen, but it's coming. He believes. Here's a person that has a problem with their family and they don't know how in the world it's ever going to be straightened out. But here's a person that believes that God said, ask and it shall be given. And he's praying for the solution and he knows it's coming. So he goes to bed and sleeps good. He's not worried. He knows it's going to work out. We live by faith and not by sight. It's not what we can see with the eye. It's what we can believe. And when you believe in that which you cannot see, the day will come. And what you will see that in which you have believed. God bless you, dear friend, and give you courage and hope and help and realize that we're to walk by faith and not by sight. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen.